Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Question 7 in this revision block solves the simultaneous equations 3x minus y equals 8 x squared plus y squared equals 10. Okay, so one of the types of simultaneous equations that's on the Leave Insert course. It is a circle um, and a line. Okay, um, so how do we do these ones? Well, you, you don't multiply the top by anything. So maybe multiply it by x, for example, if you wanted to bring it up to x squareds. You'll find it won't work. It won't... Um, eliminate one of the letters for you no matter what you try. So how we do these ones is we take the linear equation which is the one with just the single uh, powers of x's or y's and we write that in terms of a letter and then we sub it into the other one. Okay so how I would do this one is I would take the linear equation and I would write it in terms of either x or y will do y is going to be the easiest one in this case um, and I'll show you why after I do this. So basically I'm, I'm leaving y on the left and bringing everything else to the other side and I'm going to write it as um, a positive power of y and then I'm just going to change around the the order of these so that my minus is encapsulated in the centre and I don't forget it. Okay, so that's it in terms of y. And then I take that and I sub it in here where I have y in the other equation. Now, why not x? Or why not in terms of x? Well, let me show you why. I could have written it as 3x being equal to 8 plus y. I then have to divide across by 3. So x is equal to 8 thirds plus a third y. Now, a third y, y over 3 is the same thing. Okay, so nothing unduly wrong with it. It's just working with fractions. So, of course, it's going to be a bit harder. Okay, but if you had wrote it in terms of x, you would then sub that in here for x. Okay, and some of the questions in past previous papers have forced you to have to work with fractions and, and try it by all means. You should get the same answers. But when the option is there, when it's a single letter with no coefficient in front of it, it will always be an easier option. Okay, so let's sub him in. So I'll end up with x squared. Instead of y, I'm putting in 3x minus 8 to be squared equals 10. Why does this work? Well, if you look across at it now, you'll see I have no y's. We have eliminated the y's, and instead we have an equation with just x's in it. And when you only have one letter, one variable in an equation, you can solve it. Okay, so 3x minus 8 squared is that. So x squared plus 3x by 3x is 9x squared. 3x by minus 8 is that. The same again. Minus by minus is a plus 64. I'm going to bring over the 10 so it becomes minus 10 equals 0 because I, I can see a quadratic forming here. So I have 10x squared. I have minus 48x plus 54 equals 0. <coughs> now you can... Um, Factorize it or you can minus b it at this stage. I'm going to minus b it. So a is 10, b is equal to minus 48, c is equal to 54. Of course, I could have divided across by, by 2 to make things easier. But it doesn't matter if you didn't. All over 2a. So x is equal to minus minus 48 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Okay, so it's equal to 48 plus or minus. I'm putting that whole square root bit into my calculator. 4ac and I'm getting 12 for that all over 20. Okay, so let's break him up now into the plus one. So 48 plus 12 over 20 
is 60 over 20, which is 3. 48 minus 12. Bracket 48 minus 12 all over 20 is 9 over 5. Okay, um, so that, that's the x's worked out. Um, 3 and 9 over 5, okay? So now I'd like to work out the y's. I'm not finished yet. Okay, so to work out the y's, I'm going to use this one here. Okay, so just like any other simultaneous equations, I sub these back into a, a, any equation to find the y's. There are two of them, so you have to do it twice. Okay, so when x is equal to 3, okay, y is equal to 3x minus 8, so it's 3 3s or 9, I'm doing it in my head at the same time, minus 8, so it's 1. So that is the point uh, 3 comma 1. Now when x was equal to 9 over 5, y is still equal to 3x minus 8. So it's equal to 3 times 9 over 5 minus 8. So let's do that one. 3 bracket 9 over 5, close my bracket, minus 8. And I'm getting minus uh, 13 over 5. So that is the point 9 over 5 comma minus 13 over 5. Okay, uh, so that's how you do those simultaneous equations. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.